big God bless you friends. I just wanted to share a short little message, a quick message that's been burning on my heart today. And it's about dying for Christ Jesus. Dying for Christ Jesus. This is the litmus test. This is the litmus test of all believers. Are, are we prepared to die? Are we prepared? We talk a lot about dying to self and to t taking up our cross and denying our flesh. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, are we prepared to give up everything? Our comforts, they were prepared. The, the, the early church were prepared to give up everything to follow Christ Jesus. They were even prepared to die. They and they many of them did to die for Christ. Hallelujah! It was their gain to lose their life was to gain. Hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! And this is where the Lord wants to take us. This is where He wants to take His people in this hour that we are full of His absolute joy. You know, Jesus will give it to us. He's already given it to us at the new birth, but we will experience it, and it will manifest in us the joy and the absolute peace when it comes to trusting Jesus, to to trusting Christ, and to moving in into to the secret place of the Most High. Oh, hallelujah. In that place, nothing else matters. And we can say, come and kill me. Come and kill me. Hallelujah. What can man do to me? What can man do to me when God is for me? Hallelujah. Death has lost absolutely its sting. There is nothing to fear in this world, friends. When we are safe inside the high tower of God, our protection, there is nothing to fear. And we do not have to listen to the godlessness of this age. We must not listen to the godlessness of this age and we've got to listen to Christ only. We are listening to voices, voices that are not born again, voices of men that have engaged in absolute wickedness. They do not know Christ, they pretend to know Christ, but they are engaged in absolute wickedness. It is time for the church to absolutely wake up and see the absolute wickedness of this generation, to see the wickedness of this generation and to also see that we have a allowed this wickedness to come into the church. The system of this world has been sitting in the pew for many decades and now it is showing its ugly face. The true church, the true face of the church is being exposed in this time of crisis, in this time of great reset. This is the great reset. This is what the globalists are wanting to pull off. This is what the globalists are wanting to achieve right now, what they have been wanting to achieve for decades. For decades they have been wanting to see this great reset, this new world order order this global government and this is exposing the church for the state that it is in and the Lord wants us to wake up. The Lord wants us to see it for what it is and to see the holiness of God and the absolute utter wickedness of mankind and to see that mankind and many in the church have been taken by the system of this world which is the system of the Antichrist which is in league with the absolute demonic realm in league with the devil and the pit Hallelujah, the pit, hallelujah, has been opened. The pit has been opened and evil is being absolutely unleashed on the earth. It's gone totally unchecked now and it's going to manifest itself in a much greater way over the coming days and over the coming year. We are going to see things and we are going to be so many people are going to be conditioned to accepting what is happening and it will just become like it's normal. It's going to become like it's normal. Well, it's okay for that to happen and for this to happen because we are in a crisis. It's okay for X amount of people to die because we are in a crisis. Friends, we are being conditioned. The people are being conditioned right now. They're being conditioned and they're being manipulated through the restrictions. It is the enslaving spirit. It is the bondage that caused the people of Israel, the Israelites, to be in bondage bondage to Pharaoh. It is the bondage of, of all of the empires that have gone before and we have reached this ultimate point now where the entire enslavement of global mankind is occurring and Jesus is calling out to the church and he's saying wake up. He's saying wake up, tarry with me, tarry with me, wake up. Will you not listen to me? Will you not listen to me? Do not listen to the system of this world. The Spirit of the Lord is calling out and saying, seek me first. Don't give me all of this stuff. Don't give me all of this stuff that you're seeking me, but then you listen to the world. Friends, the system of this world is utterly evil. It is utterly wicked and it has no, they are not looking out for the goodness and the health and the security of mankind. It is the absolute opposite. It is the absolute opposite. If we could have a look and a window into the wickedness, we would we would be so reviled, we would be so shocked, we would be so horrified. 
Friends, many people don't want to listen today. They don't want to listen to the reality of it because it is too disturbing to comprehend. It is too disturbing to comprehend the wickedness, but God wants us to know that he is going to pour out, he is going to pour out his wrath upon the wicked. And it's time for the church to not get in the way, to get out of the way of the wrath. Hallelujah. He wants us to get out of the way of the wrath. Hallelujah. He does not want us to, to, to be there. We must be repenting and we must draw up close to Jesus in this hour because that is where the, uh, the awakening occurs. This is the real awakening, friends, the awakening around the earth. And many people will come to the light. Many people will come to the light in this day because there is a mass deception going on around the world and it is being embraced by Christianity the world over it's being embraced this is part of the great delusion this is part of the great deception that even the elect even the elect would be taken by this deception friends this is the biggest deception the world has ever known and it is leading to one place it is leading to the great reset this is the whole point this is the whole point of all of this is to reset our world to reset the economy and to reset everything and in that reset christianity will be totally restricted just like it is in china but worse just like it is in china but worse hallelujah friends the stage is being set the stage is being set Believe me, friends, the stage is being set and it's time for us to draw up close. We don't need to fear. We don't need to fear. People, some people get afraid by my message and they say, I don't want to hear this. They just want to hear a nice little message from a pastor somewhere who's not saying anything about anything. No, friends, these are the days that we have to draw up close to Jesus and then we do not fear. Once we're inside the high tower of his protection, once we have drawn right in, we have absolutely nothing to fear. Oh, hallelujah. These are the days, friends, these are the days it is time for us to wake up and to rise up and to shout it from the rooftops. Hallelujah. That a great tyranny, a great dictatorship is, is, is coming over the earth. You know what? It's not relevant anymore. Brexit is not relevant. It is totally irrelevant. Politics is totally irrelevant it is totally irrelevant we should never look to leaders we should never have looked to them ever before and now more than ever before it is time to realize that it is so clearly obvious they have been taken by the wickedness and the godlessness of our world totally wicked totally godless and it is time for the church to say no enough is enough i am looking to god i will not listen to the dictates of this evil suppressive and this oppressive system that is coming to destroy my family, coming to destroy the, all of our social constructs. Friends, I'm telling you right now, it is tyranny on a level that we have never seen and it is under the guise of all of this, under the guise of all of this. It is time, friends. It is absolutely time for us to wake up before it is too late. Before it is too late, but friends, the, a time is coming. We cannot stop what is happening at this present time. We cannot stop it, but what we can do is to draw up close into the high tower of his protection. I've been saying this since 2009. It's time to run into the arms of God. A sweeping darkness is coming, hallelujah. But God will do many wonders in this time. And it is time, friends, that he gives us the strength that we need to carry us through the darkness. He wants to give us the oil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He wants to give us the oil. He wants us to come out of our cotton wool and to walk into the battlefield. Into the battlefield, put on the boots and run and save lives. Because this is the day, friends, when many, many people who are seeking the truth are like ripened fruit and they want to hear the, they want to hear the gospel. Some of them understand things more than people in the church. Hallelujah. And they want to know and they want to hear the gospel. So it's time for us to go out across the earth and to preach this glorious gospel preach this glorious gospel and see the works of the devil hallelujah as they manifest all around protect the saints and to we will see the church grow in in ex exponential fashion friends I, I i talked about this in my books i talked about it in beyond earthly realms how the church will go out in the last days and it will be incredible they will have the absolute life of jesus christ reigning in their bodies and they will not care for their lives they will ne not care for their comforts they will not seek anything friends forget the church with the carpet oh no friends we are going into the battlefield we are going into the battlefield friends hallelujah forget the cruise liner we are on the battleship we are on the battleship let's wake up let's blow the trumpet let's 
let's, let's shout the war cry and let's go in. Let's go into this darkness and whether we live or whether we die, let us give glory to Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Friends, I pray right now today that you will feel and know the absolute joy and the peace that only comes from Jesus Christ. It does not come from trusting in earthly systems, but only comes from Jesus Christ. Let us turn then, let us turn aside from the wicked, godless rulers and not have any part of listening to what they have to say, but to listen only to the holiness of God, for he will not be mocked. He will not be mocked and he is looking and he is scanning the earth for all of those whose hearts are absolutely for him and he will give them strength he will give you strength friends if you seek only the lord do not seek after earthly systems health systems governmental systems do not seek after it and do not do not seek after that television any longer friends it is time to smash that evil machine to crush it to chuck it out the window to destroy it because it is a poison in the houses of the people of god it is time i do declare it by the name of Jesus Christ that we turn off the mainstream media right now and cut off the lies of the devil because it is demonizing people all around the earth. Hallelujah. This portal of evil can be cut off right now just by pulling the plug and destroying that evil machine. Hallelujah. It is time, friends, for us to turn, turn to the Lord in his absolute holiness and give him our all. To give him our all because he is worthy and he's coming on the clouds of heaven and he's looking for a bride. He's looking for the bride. Hallelujah. Will we be there? Will we be ready? Will our lamps be filled with oil? I pray it every day. Lord Jesus, don't ever let me fall away. Let me stay by your side, Lord Jesus. Don't ever say those awful words to me away from me. I never knew you. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus wants to receive us into his kingdom and say, well done, good and faithful servant. You did everything I commanded of you. You went out and you prayed. Hallelujah. You prayed and you sought my kingdom and you healed the sick and you raised the dead and you cast out lepers and you spread this glorious gospel across the earth come in and enter your rest come in and enter your rest oh hallelujah friends these are the days to be alive on the earth these are the days to be alive on the earth as sweeping darkness comes so also the children of light go through this planet hallelujah hallelujah extinguishing the darkness hallelujah one person at a time people will come into into the true church of god which largely will have to go underground hallelujah but the spirit of the lord will move in a way that the church has never known hallelujah as people give that all to Jesus Christ in this hour. It's time, friends, for us to die, to die and to deny ourselves and to even give our bodies up to the flame if need be, because what can we give our Lord in return for everything that he has given us? What can we give him? Hallelujah. Let us give him our lives. Let us give him our hearts today and let us see the Lord of glory come in all of his power. God bless you, brothers and sisters. I love you always and I'll speak to you again another time. Bye-bye.